Lord. Gotcha. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome. If I may have your attention, please thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Buffalo Irish Center. Right in the middle of the Irish Heritage District. This is the Buffalo Irish Center's 52nd annual civic luncheon. All proceeds uh, go to promote Irish culture here uh, at the Buffalo Irish Center. If I could have your attention for a moment, we're going to have uh, Kate Horan Schroeder. She's going to sing our national anthems. Please stand. sit down. Thank you. Please take your seats. I just want to congratulate Kate Horan Schroeder. She's been singing the national anthems here at this luncheon for over 30 years, and I don't know if there's anybody who can sing it in Irish like she does. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to our 52nd annual uh, Civic Luncheon. And I am delighted uh, to let you know that our governor is here. And I often say, many of you know, many of you know that she is the only woman governor from the state of New York. And we've been in business for a few years. Some of you may know she is only the second governor from Buffalo, New York. The first one in 1883 was Grover Cleveland. But what you might not know, this is the only governor in state history who actually has run a DMV. And boy, is that good for me. <laughs> the, the governor, she knows exactly where the carry flag is. Uh, she is extremely proud of her Irish heritage and she's here to tell you about it today. Ladies and gentlemen, the 57th governor of the state of New York, Governor Kathleen Mary Courtney Hochul. Thank you, thank you for truly making me feel like a daughter of Ireland when I walk through those doors. But not just a daughter of Ireland, but a daughter of South Buffalo and Western New York, because this is where my family began. And to the Schroeder family, the Horan family, and all the other families that have helped build this institution. Literally, this place was conceived by so many people who thought we need a gathering place when they are done working every day at the steel plants or at the corner pub or playing Gaelic football on a Sunday like my grandfather and father played on the same team and their pictures out there. They built this place as a place to continue sharing that love of family and traditions and above all the love of Ireland that has now been passed on to the generations that are in this room here today. So I am so proud to be here standing with people from the community, my friends, but also an extraordinary list of elected leaders who are with us here today. And you'll be hearing from some of them, but I want to give a special shout out to my great friend, our Attorney General, Tish James. Let's give her a round of applause. Our, our State Controller, Tom DiNapoli. Our Majority Leader, Crystal People Stokes, has joined us. Mayor Byron Brown has joined us. Our senators, Senator Tim Kennedy, I saw Senator Gallivan, Senator Orton has joined us. I want to thank all of them and the assembly members. Uh, also, I have members of my own team here. You need to get to know Civil Service Commissioner Tim Hoggs, who cut his teeth in Erie County government, Buffalo Zone. Yeah, I've hired a lot of Buffalo, too. I'm OK with that. Uh, and Hope Knight, our ESD commissioner, so if you want any, see any economic development projects to hire uh, to Tim Flanagan. Welcome. I thank you for welcoming us here. And also, a little bit of patronage here with my own family. My father's father was one of the Grand Marshals. His daughter, Bridget Knott, was around the Grand Marshals. And now the Grand Marshal of the parade is none only than my third cousin, cousin Liam Knott, who's been part of our family for a long, long time. And I'm so proud of him as well. So, so it's running deep in the family. And Brian Higgins, our former congressman, joining us. Jack Quinn, our former congressman, joined. Let's give Jack Quinn a huge round of applause for many, many years of service. Thank you, Jack. We love you. Our brothers and sisters in labor. Do you any labor in the house? Oh my, my whole here. family was labor. We had iron workers. We had steel workers. We had plumbers. We had iron workers. Everybody building this great community. All of us have this connection. And I will be brief because I know your stomachs are growling and your, and your lips are thirsty. So let's, let's get that out there. But I want to say this. All of us are products of where we come from. And I can't tell you how many times I draw on the strength that is needed to run the state of New York based on where I began. I began on these streets. I began in this community. And sometimes you just have to draw deep to get that toughness to get you through the day and the next challenge. And my friends, because of all of you and this great community, I have steel running through my veins. I say, bring it on. I can handle any challenge because I'm a product of this community, and you've given me that strength. So thank you. Thank you to all of us. I love this. Thank you for making you feel so welcome. And let us always, all 
alcoholics, remember those who've served also before all of us. And I'm talking about someone, Brian Higgins, who became one of my best friends in Congress because there weren't a whole lot of people like us who had the sanity that we had when we went to Congress. We spent a lot of time together, but I saw him come up through the ranks as a staffer, a city council member, a uh, young man who wanted to run for office, higher office. And when he went to Congress, he showed that with hard work and tenacity and a vision for this community where others had none, you could get it done. So in honor of his service, I know you're being recognized here today, Brian, I thank you for your friendship, but also our community is forever transformed because of you and your vision. That waterfront where all of our families, my, grand, my family members were on those ships, shoveling the grains that came off of them, building this great community, and now you've made that a place where people can gather and recreate and cherish their families and their traditions. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the people who is one of the most transformative change agents this community has ever seen, let me introduce our former Congressman, Brian Higgins. Thank you, everybody. Better sit down, you're delaying the end of the speeches. Kathy Courtney Hochul. Uh, Mark fashions himself as a local historian. He says that Grover Cleveland was from Buffalo. No, he wasn't. He was born in New Jersey and he died in New Jersey. In Caldwell. In Caldwell, New Jersey. Kathy and Hochul. Died in Princeton. Kathy Hochul uh, is the pride of Buffalo and Western New York. She continues to fight every single day for all of us. And when Kathy Hochul is your friend, you know it. And we are so proud of her service. Uh, it wasn't easy getting to where she is today, but that has prepared her, the toughness, the vision, uh, to represent all of us in this great state. I am so proud of our governor, Kathy Hochul. <laughs> I too want to recognize Congressman Jack Quinn. Jack has become a national leader in the fight against Parkinson's. He is a voice, he is an influence, so that others uh, will be able to live a better life uh, with this disease. And he's a great, great friend. Jack Quinn, we're honored to have you back. This is my first opportunity of many years to address you as president. <laughs> I came in the door, somebody said, you're retired. I said, no, no, I'm not retired. I ditched the day job and now I work nights. <laughs> Nobody likes Congress. They will when Tim gets there. But everybody loves the Shays. Yeah. The Shays Buffalo Performing Arts Center. What a place. And people from all over the world recognize it. The governor and I often talk about Shays and the people in New York City. She is Shays' ambassador on Broadway because she's always talking about the beautiful, ornate theater that we have. Shays has 3,000 seats, 319. John Dandy's reminded me, the chair of the Shays committee. And they have 1,000 volunteers. So that's a volunteer for every three people. <laughs> but uh, we are here uh, to recognize uh, a great, great friend uh, of, of all of ours. And uh, Team Higgins is here from all over the country uh, because we're honoring Megan Corbett Rizzuto. Me <laughs> now, Megan and I have been working together for uh, 23 years. Uh, only Bonnie Lockwood, Kane Lockwood, who worked with us, or we worked together for 37 years. We love longevity, we love longevity. Uh, but Mark and I are often up here doing the speaking, and what precedes this is six months of hard work by typically one person, Megan. Megan has done this uh, for all of us, and she has an ability to tell you what you don't wanna hear, but you're never offended because she's so kind. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, because of John Dandies and uh, Judge Donna Sywick is also here from Shays, uh, Megan 
is now the Vice President of Administration at the Shays Performing Arts Center, and we are thrilled to have her. So we get to bestow every year the honorary chair of uh, the Irish Luncheon. We used to pick Judge Nicky Nemoyer, who was a great friend of ours, and he was like honorary chair for like five years. We kept him because anytime anybody complained, we referred them to Mickey. <laughs> but uh, I just want to recognize uh, Megan, her whole family's here, her dad's here, Dee, and uh, just a great, great individual, and one that we honor on this beautiful day, on this beautiful weekend, our Irish heritage and all that is good about it. And nobody, nobody represents the best of our community than Megan. Megan Corbett Pizzuto. Mark, if we had anything for Megan. And he said, no, Megan didn't arrange for it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we have something for it. Congratulations uh, to, uh, to Megan Corbett Rizzuto. And, you know, we're not really sure what her availability is going to be for next year, so we put together a committee. We have a committee of 10 people to do what Megan Corbett does. And so I just want to, I want to thank uh, the new committee, not really new committee, they've been, they've been working with this for a long time, but I, I just want to say hello and, and congratulate uh, Patrick Curry, Mary Haran Reed, Siobhan Haran McMahon, Brenda Haran Tracy, see the theme? And Barbara Hart, Moe Oakley, and, uh, and Senator Kennedy in a minute will, will, will specially thank Emily Reed from his staff, who's been very helpful to us. So just a few acknowledgments. Um, if you looked on Abbott Road when you came in here today, you'll see a beautiful uh, street designation. It says Mary Hennigan Way. Is Council President Chris Scanlon here? So if, when you, Chris, are you here? Please stand up and let's congratulate Chris Scanlon for putting up that beautiful monument for her. Special, special thanks to all of our participants today, the Erie County Sheriff's Pipe and Drum Band, Paul Mance, who's been doing this here for 30 years, Felicia and David uh, Myers from Kindred, Kevin McCarthy's in the Clatter Room, the Bishop Timon Choir was here under the leadership of Laura Lawless, South Park High School, Junior ROTC, Sparks Battalion, under student leader, Lieutenant Colonel Kayla Vanderwater, uh, did the flag ceremony today. Uh, also want to congratulate our Grand Marshals, the Old Neighborhood Parade, Grand Marshal is Sharon Grandy, and the St. Patrick's Downtown Parade is Dr. Liam Knott. Dr. Knott, please stand. He may be in the other room. On, on, behalf, on behalf of Mayor Brown, County Executive Polencars, Clerk Kearns, Comptroller Hardwick, Sheriff Garcia, DA Flynn, Assemblyman Pat Burke, who represents South Buffalo, uh, and also Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes. I would ask all elected officials, party leaders, labor lead leaders, to please stand for a collective ovation. Thank you for your support here. I'd, uh, I'd like to make, I don't know where Tim Flanagan is and uh, Eric Bowen and uh, 
and Russ Maxwell, but I just I just want to I just want to make I want to make a very important uh, Buffalo. If I could just have your attention, I, I just want to make a very important Buffalo Irish Center acknowledgement. I would ask if uh, Tim Flanagan, uh, Eric Bowen, and Russ Maxwell to please stand. Stay, stay standing, stay standing, stay standing. So, Tim Flanagan is the new president and chair of the Buffalo Irish Center. Russ Maxwell is the president and CEO of Medical Answering Services, and Eric Bowen works for Russ Maxwell. We started a pilot program here, it's a pass-through program. For, for a one-year period, Eric is on loan to the Buffalo Irish Center for one day a week, free of charge to the Buffalo Irish Center. He works hand in hand with Tim Flanagan. It is making a huge difference here. And special, special thanks to Russ Maxwell um, and, and, to, and to Eric Bowen. If anyone, if anyone here would like more information on how to join this pilot program, please let me know or Tim Flanagan know. We are looking for some leadership, especially in the, on the financial side of things or the CPA side or the accounting side. So let's hear it for Russ Maxwell and Eric Bowen. It is now uh, my pleasure to, uh, to bring up somebody that you know. Uh, Brian Higgins and I have been doing this for 21 years. The state controller has been the controller for 17 years. He's been here every single year. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please welcome our state controller, Thomas Patrick DiNapoli, the 54th controller of the state of New York. Thank you, Mark. Commissioner Schroeder, today it's Odenapoli, not just Patrick in there. I'll be very brief. It's wonderful to be here. Again, appreciation to Mark Schroeder, Brian Higgins for continuing to convene us, to Kate Schroeder for always uh, setting us off with beautiful song. Again, uh, to Megan Corbett, give her another round of applause, our honorary chair. She got that standing ovation. I said, bottle that up. I mean, that's where the Bishop Fisher, great to be here with you. And of course, to Tim Flanagan and the team here at the Irish Center for everything you do to keep Irish heritage and culture so strong in this part of Buffalo. Great to be here with so many colleagues that have been acknowledged, but special appreciation to our governor, Kathy Hochul, and our great attorney general, Tish James, my partners in statewide government. Give them a round of applause again. I, um, I just want you to know, because you all always ask me, your pensions are in good shape if you're in our system, so don't worry, okay? But one reason why they're in good shape is we do, it's, we do smart investments that do good things as well. I was in the north of Ireland in Belfast and Derry last fall, part of a delegation that was led by Joe Kennedy III, who's our special envoy in Northern Ireland. As you know, the government has been reformed in the north. The peace agreement is holding up, the Good Friday Agreement, and I announced that we did another investment from the New York State Pension Fund, $50 million specifically targeted to the North, as long as the investments that we make provide equal opportunity to Catholics and Protestants in the North, we now have $100 million of pension fund money that's doing good things in the North of Ireland, being part of the peace process, creating opportunity for all, and making money for our pensioners. So happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. It's wonderful to be with you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the 67th Attorney General of New York State, Tish James. Thank you. Thank you. First, um, to Megan. Um, Megan, obviously, is going to take at least five or ten men to replace you, and so you have done an incredible job, and thank you. I truly appreciate looking forward to working with you. And of course, to C Congress Member Brian Higgins, thank you for all that you do. Um, Tim is going to have some big boots to fill. Um, 
but I know that he can do it, and so it's an honor and a privilege, obviously, to work with you as I, you continue to move on. Of course, to my very good friend, Tim Kennedy, who I love and adore, um, thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for recognizing that uh, consensus and compromise is not a dirty word. I know that when you get to Washington, you will resolve, unfortunately, the gridlock in Washington, D.C., because you were a man who is um, a bridge builder and someone who believes in common sense. And so I thank you for all that you do. And for, um, yeah. And to all my um, colleagues in government, listen, I want to thank each and every one of you. You reached out to me when the Irish Historical Society building in, on Fifth Avenue across the street from St. Patrick's, unfortunately was in um, need of some changes. The board, as you know, was in the process of selling that building, which is a charitable organization under the jurisdiction of the Office of the Attorney General. I received a petition from 50,000, 50,000 individuals in the Irish community for the Office of the Attorney General to step in and to address the issues. Congressmember Quinn, so many individuals in the Irish Riviera and the Rockaways um, and here in Buffalo reached out to me. And as a result of that, we removed the old board, we stopped the sale, we saved the building. It is now open for legacies and for traditions and for children to know their Irish heritage, their culture, their history. There are beautiful artifacts in that building. There are beautiful artifacts in that building. Again, it's right across the street from St. Patrick's. We're having a reception there tomorrow as we march down Fifth Avenue. There is also a lot of artifacts about the labor movement, all that the labor movement did, particularly in the Irish community, building New York City, building New York State, building out the middle, middle class under the jurisdiction and the leadership of Letitia James. We will never sell out the Irish community. We will keep that building again for generations to come to celebrate all that the Irish have done for this country and for New York. Thank you, God bless you, and go with that fighting Irish spirit. Bless you. Thank you, Attorney General. If you would look at your program book, the program book is beautiful and it's very helpful to the Error Center. To give you a little bit more information about our Senator Tim Kennedy. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here uh, to all of my colleagues in government, to all of these amazing community leaders, uh, to our governor, to our controller, to our great attorney general, Congressman Higgins, Congressman Quinn, our sheriff, our county executive, our mayor, our council, our legislators, our assembly members, our senators. This is the center of the universe here today. And I'm so proud to stand here, this great Irish neighborhood, and this great Irish heritage, and this amazing Irish center that people have worked so hard to celebrate this extraordinary tradition. Year in and year out, I want to congratulate Megan Corbett Rizzuto for her amazing work over so many years, again, being honored here today. I want to thank uh, Mark Schroeder and Congressman Higgins for their leadership over many years. You know, we're all Irish today. We say that over this weekend. We're all Irish today. It was the Irish that helped to build our community, our great state, and our great nation. Going back to the days when George Washington was fighting the English in the Revolutionary War on the shores of this great state of New York, he was surrounded by Irishmen starting up this amazing democracy that we hold as a beacon of hope and light for the rest of the world to look at us. And it's the Irish who then built our great state and our great nation and the infrastructure and the people from all walks of life. So the Irish have touched every corner of every community across the nation, including right here in the center of the universe at the Irish Center here in South Buffalo, New York, as we begin the precipice of St. Patrick's weekend in the heart of St. Patrick's Month. I'm so proud of my Irish heritage and our Irish heritage that we're going to celebrate this weekend. And whether we're Democrat or Republican or conservative or whatever party you might be, we're all Irish Republicans here today. Let's celebrate a wonderful Irish weekend. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And, uh, and now, we always look forward for the civic luncheon blessing, and please welcome 
the 15th Bishop of the Diocese of Buffalo, Bishop Michael William Fisher. And it's good to be here with you today. In honor of St. Patrick, I, as the Catholic Bishop of Buffalo, grant a commutation from your abstaining from me during this Friday in Lent. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, as we sit together. Bless the food we eat today. Bless the hands that made the food. Bless us, O God. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless the cooks. Thank you. Billy, give me your glass. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just raise a glass, raise a glass, a toast to Assemblyman Dick Kane and Tommy Blake. We are keeping the tradition alive. God bless.